Hello everyone and welcome to Islet Outlet's YouTube channel. This is Janet and I'm here today to show you a dog lovers card made with matching dog washi and brads. I hope you'll like it. So to start with, this is my A2 panel and I've kind of divided it by thirds, just eyeballing it. And I already had embossed the bottom one third portion. And now that leaves the card flat in the area that I want to apply this washi tape. So in order to get the tape straight, I'm just going to set it up so that I can use the grid lines on my board here as a guide and that will help me make sure I get it straight because I often have trouble getting it straight. This adorable dog washi tape and matching brads can be found over at eyeletoutlet.com. So I hope you check them out if you like this. It's super cute. All right, so then I can emboss the rest of this panel by just slipping the embossing folder over the top up to where the washi is and then I can run that through my machine. Now as you notice, this is a Sizzix folder with cute little paws on it, paws and hearts. I've cut three one and a half by one and a half inch squares and I'm just punching a little hole in the center and I'm gonna place my brads. Now the cool thing about this is the face on these brads match the faces on the washi tape. And so of course, it's a really cute combination and there's the three little dogs. In the end, I only needed two of these squares but you get to see all three that come in the set. The next thing I did is I'd cut out four of these Friends sentiments and I did that out of brown cardstock. So I, what I'm going to do is layer these one on top of the other using glue and you can see I tie, uh, apply these tiny little drops of art glitter glue to the first layer and then I'm going to put the second layer on top of that. And really the trick is to sort of keep this moving fairly quickly because the glue will dry uh, rather fast when they're just little tiny dots of glue. So try to get it on there as soon as you can and that will also give you a little time for wiggling around the individual little edges and you'll do that with things that stick out the furthest. That's If you get those right the rest of them kind of fall into place. So in this case the F, the D, the S, kind of in the middle the E and then the curly Q's. Now if you get a little bit of excess glue that sticks out, you can use a blunt needle like I'm doing here. It's kind of like a darning needle or maybe a yarn needle is more appropriate. Uh, and that will allow you to get into the little tiny nooks and crannies. And now you can see that I did apply a brown square of cardstock underneath the green ones to frame them up. I used some double-sided foam tape and then placed them on my card front with a little bit more room at the top. I need that in order to place the bow that I'm making for that area. Now I can apply the Friends sentiment and the same way as I did when I stacked them, I just applied small little drops onto the back of the sentiment and then placed it onto my card panel, more or less in the middle of that section. Of course, we need to always dot our eyes, right? So I did actually stack the four little dots on the sentiment that is the dot above the eye so that I could place that. And I'm using my crystal katana to do that, which is a very handy tool, by the way. It really picks up things well. I went ahead and cut down my card front. It is now four by five and a quarter inches, and that way I get a nice border around it once I attach it to my A2 size card base. It's really coming around now. A lot of times I don't show the interiors of my cards, but in this case, it's really important for the overall theme of it. So I have a really cute little sentiment that goes in here that says, without friends like you, life would be rough. Before I go on, I wanted to show these sticky grid sheets from Sizzix. They eliminate the need for magnets because they're so sticky, your paper stays in place. It's a really handy tool. Now I'm going to apply the inside of my card sentiment to the card base. And so you just put the adhesive on the left side of that piece and it's just cut down slightly smaller than the A2 size card and then slip it in, close it up, and then this will cause that uh, left side to stick and the right side will be free, just like you get them in the card store. Now I wanted to apply a little border of brown above and below the strip of washi tape. The fine tip that you can get for the glue bottle for art glitter glue allows you to do that really easily. Now the piece of paper that I'm using for the strip is really thin. It's about a well, it's about an eighth of an inch, I would say, wide. And then I just trimmed the edge and did the same for the second. 
and that really gives a nice finished look to that washi tape and you can't see any of the edges of it at this point because of that border. Here's the paper bow I made for this project and in the center of the bow I like to add a little something. So in this case I'm going to use black matte enamel dots from Eyelid Outlet. These are really cool you guys because they have no shine at all. They're completely matte. Very unique. I've not seen them before like this to be honest. Maybe I've just missed it. <laughs> but uh, I really like this idea for masculine cards. I have a tutorial to make the paper bow if you're interested. I'll put it in the right hand corner. You can click on that link. But that'll show you how to make these bows using the We Are Memory Keepers all-in-one tool. And that will finish up this card. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's really cute with the matching eyelets and washi. See you later.